Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about something very crucial. I see people talk about how to get your first design job, how to get promoted as a senior designer, how to crack design interviews. All these amazing topics are great, but let's talk about what design and corporate mistakes you can make to get fired from your dream job. A lot of these will be from personal experiences because from one company, I almost got fired because of these mistakes. Today's video was very specially and kindly sponsored by Mockup Studio. More on that later during the video. The first point we're looking at is less or no documentation. A lot of times designers don't realize this, but a crucial part of communication is documentation. And if there is little to no documentation available for your designs, for your prototypes, for your ideas, whatever it is, it's almost as if it never happened or the managers are so busy, they'll forget you even communicated something with you. And I'm not talking about making detailed documentations where, they're enlist where you've enlisted a hundred reasons why you did something, but basic documentation which can remind managers, leaders, directors, etc of what you did and why you did it. Also helps other departments like developers and product managers to stay in sync with you. Certain docs that I feel are very important is one, your entire design process is documented, all the decisions made is documented. Two, moments of meetings. A lot of times you as a designer might go into a meeting or host some research work or do some testing. Whatever the case might be or whatever the meeting might be for, make sure you're keeping certain notes so that you can share it with your superiors and seniors in the company. The next factor that got me kicked out and other people kicked out as well is problems with deliverables. And what do I even mean by deliverables? At the end of a project or at the end of a task, you need to provide certain assets, you need to provide certain documentation, you also need to provide the final designs and a certain set of screens. If a certain screen or a certain feature or a certain design is missing, that can lead to a lot of discrepancy and a lot of time wasted in the entire design process. It doesn't really matter how many issues are coming between starting a project and ending the project, but the end of the project where you're actually delivering for production should be smooth as butter. Anything else than butter will def definitely be questionable. You will be questioned as to why that thing wasn't delivered. You will be questioned as to what caused it and not one person will question you, but multiple people who wanted that deliverable to come through will question you. How do you fix this whole deliverables issue? Make sure no matter how large or small the tasks are, you divide them into much smaller chunks and discuss it with your teammates, superiors, as to whether those are the appropriate chunks or not. Don't worry, you can ask people things. You're not, nobody is perfect. And once you have those smaller chunks, treat them as milestones. Every time you complete a milestone, you share it with the team, you share it with your superiors or whoever is involved with the projects. Also make sure that the deliverables are enlisted. Also make sure you have a list of deliverables so you can just tick off everything. Trust me, I thought I did not need a list to check off. But at the end of the day, I used to forget even the most important and crucial things that I had to get done. And that can be a huge problem in the eyes of your superiors, in the eyes of your teammates or whoever is involved. Make sure you have deliverables cleared from day one. If you have a doubt of what you need to deliver or if anything extra needs to be done, make sure you discuss it with the people involved. Or otherwise what will happen is that they'll keep on piling up stuff onto you because they forgot or maybe they decided later on. So before you start a project, make it clear that you would want to know at least all the deliverables and only on that basis will you be able to tell them a certain timeline of that project. I've seen so many people set smaller timelines and delaying that project for a longer period of time. So rather than having a smaller timeline, make sure you give yourself one or two days. So that kind of comes in the whole deliverables point. All right, so this next one is the biggest factor in the entire list by far because this is the one which will impact you the most. Longer workflows. And what I mean by longer workflows is simple. The way you do something, the way you carry out a task should be short and simple and it should look as if you've put a lot of effort into it. I'm not saying fake it in a company, but definitely find ways, shortcuts, hacks, tricks to get through something faster than, than other people would expect you to do it. 
then if you do it in less time because you had all those tricks up your sleeve you can then tell them that this is already done and they'll be super happy having your own tricks can mean a multitude of things for a multitude of people one important trick could be with your design tool if you're a figma power user you have a ton of automations involved you have a ton of shortcuts involved and you know them by heart you'll be able to design at least 2 to 3 times faster than somebody who is just using the keyboard and the mouse to just drag things around you need to be one step ahead of everyone else so remember in a healthy competition you should know how to get your way faster and better i suggest even looking at certain plugins like automator which make lengthy tasks shorter and smaller that way you can even share it with your teammates i'm sure they'll give you something in return shortening your workflow can even incorporate smart usage of already existing data and material i see designers doing research from scratch to uh, studying material from scratch understanding users from scratch i think that's a great thing to do especially if you have a larger project to work on but if you feel there are certain smaller features you need to incorporate or it's a smaller project overall something that can be easily carried out through something like a lean design process then use that instead use old data use old data that is already available it's valid data too and validate your designs based on that do smaller testing cycles maybe test with fewer subjects or even figure out hypotheses on your own time use design systems and ui kits that are already available to you on tools like figma or xd and you can quickly just drag and drop stuff to make say a wireframe or even make a final design if you have a design system in place make sure you utilize it to the fullest and you use everything that is in place otherwise you'll have to make smaller changes later on before we move on mockup studios is one of the best mockup design applications and softwares out there not only does it have a large library of mockups to choose from there are like large variety also 3d mockups realistic mockups flat mockups a little more cartoony or just a very plain mockup not only do they have a dedicated tool for windows and mac both but they also have plugins available for your favorite design tool out there so if you want to incorporate these mockups with your designs right in your design tool you're most welcome to do that as well they have a huge customizable library you can literally change the background the devices the mockups the hands the color of things etc you can even export these mockups in different resolutions so if you want a much higher resolution mockup or much higher resolution image you can do that from the from inside the tool itself using this is super simple you just have to drag the images that you want in a screen uh, into the application and it will basically apply it to each and every mockup so you can see which mockup suits your designs the best You can preview 1300 plus mockups for absolutely free. Apart from that if you want super high res downloads, if you want team management, if you want multiple commercial licenses etc, you can get it for a small price and for Indian users they have 75% off all of these plans which is incredible. Apart from that we are doing a little giveaway of their premium tool over on my instagram so all you need to do is go to my instagram follow me for latest updates it's it's puneet chavla official on instagram i'll have a link in the description also go check out mockup studio real quick i think you'll be more than delighted to use it another thing that can get you kicked out is a lack of involvement in team activities and taking initiative so what happens is that your office is not just a place where you sit and work it's also a place where you communicate with people where you make connections you build your network and you grow from there so when say your team wants to chill out somewhere make sure you take out some time to do that as well in other in other situations you can even suggest one day as a learning day or as a gaming day so maybe you can play certain games together as a team activity and build a team like that these are far from your traditional hr activities make sure you have a design aspect to it so maybe you can have a little design competition uh, who can design the uh, best looking ui or uh, who can utilize these tools or resources to the fullest that would also show how much you care about team building work companies really cherish that don't allow other people to form opinions before people form opinions make sure everybody knows who you are and what you really do games and team building activities is a great catalyst understand the company's products fully 
it's happened to me so many times on a personal level where i don't even know why something is being done and honestly it's a sign of an immature designer something that i have been in my life so i won't deny but being aware of it and working on it is where a lot of difference can be made if somebody comes up to you and tells you about a project that you need to work on make sure you have an entire context of that project you know everything about the background of why that product is even coming into play you know everything about the person you are working with and you know everything about where the product is going next so if you have all these blueprints in your head you will have a great time communicating with people you will know what you're talking about instead of making a fool of yourself in public you will be able to work with people better because you are the one who has a lot of knowledge and people will then also look up to you because you're a knowledgeable person last but not the least build an additional skill from everyone else what do i even mean by that so for example your team is full of ux and ui designers but there're not a lot of people who are say into interaction design that's something that you feel is lacking in the team build that skill yourself once you have an upper hand over everyone else you become a valuable asset to the company and in that way people will look at you differently from a different perspective so if you're someone who wants to build an image in your company really reach the heights and not get kicked out i think build an additional skill over everyone else and incorporate that in your design process that way you'll get noticed your work will get noticed and maybe even people come up to you and ask for advice that is a sign of somebody who knows a little more than everyone else in a certain area at least so those were some of the pointers which i think are crucial which will avoid you getting kicked out of the company i'm sure there are a million others so make sure you comment those million others that you faced down in the comments so that it helps the community understand the other side of things as well i hope you like that video if you did thumbs up as usual i will see you every time same place same time monday and thursday until next time take care god bless